Hi there folks and welcome back to the channel and I hope you're all keeping really really well and thank you for joining me on this latest video. If you're new around here, welcome to the channel and uh, please check out our other videos, stick around and give us a sub, we would really really appreciate that. Uh, I'd like to congratulate, uh, congratulate Daffid, if that's how it's pronounced, from Handy Outdoors. He was a lucky winner from uh, our latest giveaway for the 800 subscribers. And the prize for that was a TBS folding uh, EDC, Everyday Carry Knife, a legal carry here in the UK. Uh, congratulations Andy, and I hope that you really enjoy the knife and it serves you well. I've came out today to talk about footwear, particularly footwear for really poor conditions. Those of you that live in the UK will uh, already know that we've had an extremely wet winter, particularly the month of February, which has been uh, quite bad. We've had Storm Kira and Storm Dennis within the space of uh, two weeks, two pretty bad storms. That, that on top of um, having a wet winter anyway, and the ground is absolutely saturated, uh, making it difficult at times to even pass footpaths and stuff like that because they are flooded. Um, so yeah, what I thought I'd do is come out and talk uh, to you and give my thoughts on the uh, footwear I, w I wear in uh, pretty bad conditions. Um, what I'm wearing at the moment are a pair of wellies. Um, sometimes wellies can be good, sometimes it can be bad. Um, the pair I've got on at the moment I would consider to be a really good pair of wellies. I really enjoy wearing them. I find them really comfortable and the uh, keep my feet warm and dry and the wellies I've got on today are uh, by a company called Muck Boots and they're called Muck Masters that's the uh, style that I'm wearing today and uh, like I've said they are a nice pair of wellies you can buy better but uh, they come with a better price tag um, or bigger price tag rather you can buy cheaper ones um, but do the cheaper ones last I've been wearing these ones um, for uh, just over a year. This is my second winter with the boots. Uh, I've had a pair before, and the only reason I got rid of those was because the tread wore, making them really slippery and dangerous. So it was time to uh, put those ones away and buy a new pair. What we'll do now is uh, take a look at the boot. Um, we'll have a look at the construction of them, what they're made of, that sort of thing. So I'll bring you along now and we'll, uh, we'll have a look at them. There we go, that's the uh, welly, that's the style of them and I think it's quite a stylish welly. I really like the look of them, uh, a little bit dirty but that's just with their uh, use. But yeah, let's take a closer look. We've got the muck boot logo there and the design of the boot. And the construction of them is a robust rubber which is really really strong. And it's uh, really durable, which is re which is good. And the neoprene lined, and the top bit there is neoprene. And a really comfortable fit. I have quite wide feet, and this style of boot it works absolutely perfect for me. If we take a look at the sole, you can see there that it's got a, a really good grip, really good for traction in uh, muddy conditions and stuff like that. Over obviously, it'll have limitations if the ground is. Um, too wet and too slippy uh, you, you, and most things would struggle to get traction on that type of condition but yeah overall I think they're a really fantastic boot right then if we take a look inside the inside the welly inside the boot we can see that's also neoprene lined making the boot 100% uh, waterproof and really good for keeping your feet warm they really do insulate your feet really really well I mean, I've, I've been out in some really, <coughs> excuse me, bad conditions, in the snow, uh, in the wet, being in streams and stuff like that, in winter times and stuff, and my feet have stayed bone dry and stayed really wet. If we take a look at the top of the boot here, we've got this tag here, which is obviously for pulling the welly onto your foot. Uh, it's got a little bit of a reflective tape, whatever it is on there, so when light shined, shined on that, uh, that reflects the light. And if we take a look towards the bottom of the boot, there on the heel, we can see this bit here, which is great for helping getting your boot off. You can uh, 
either hook it onto the front of your other foot and pull your foot out the welly or hook it onto something, uh, a fence, a, a, a board on a fence or anything like that. Absolutely fantastic, Work, works really well and it's got some fantastic heel support in that for a welly anyway, really good. There we go. Well that's us had a little look at the uh, welly. We've had a look at its construction and uh, what materials it's made of and I think it's an absolutely perfect boot for doing what we do in the outdoors, for enjoying time in the outdoors. Um, yeah, we can wear our boots, but with that, in the conditions and the way the ground is at the moment, they're going to get saturated. Yeah, they'll probably keep our feet dry, sometimes they may leak. Um, but you've got to spend days drying them out. We can't force dry them because we'll knock the boot up. Uh, and again, they're going to get absolutely caked in mud. But it just saves that time of having to clean, spend hours cleaning your boot. And with these, I mean, I've wore these and I've walked maybe it's eight, ten mile. We've been like eight, ten mile walks, and I've been comfortable wearing them. I've not suffered with ache and feet. They've kept my feet warm, kept my feet dry. I've worn them on camping trips, and this is my footwear that I wore um, last winter, last January it was, and again. They kept my feet warm, kept my feet dry, and like I say, I had them on continuously, apart from when I was in my hammock, and no problems whatsoever. I was quite thankful for them. Uh, I've worn them whilst I've been doing jobs around the woodland, making fire pits, backwards and forwards, getting rocks to line up the base of the fire pit and edge it, no problems again whatsoever. And again, doing other jobs, making seats and stuff like that in the in a woodland, just ideal especially for the conditions, the way the ground is at the moment. Uh, I just thought I would share my thoughts and my opinion on that with you guys, you folks. Uh, and yeah, please feel free to leave a comment, let me know what yous were. Uh, and yeah, it'd be good to hear from you. Yeah, I can appreciate the, there will be better wellies out there. But again, as I've said before, they will come with a better price tag, a bigger price tag. There'll be cheaper wellies out there. Yeah, they may do the job for a while, but how long will they last? Just my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, uh, these cost 90 quid. I paid 90 quid for these. And, but I have seen them in the regions from 90 pound to 120 pound on, online. But not the cheapest, but definitely not the dearest, not the most expensive, but yeah. Right, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope it's been useful to, to, to you. Uh, and uh, thank you for coming along. And as always, stay safe and we'll see you on the next one. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.